Hi there. Today I'm going to tie a small, well not a small, I'm going to tie a pike popper. And, and I'm going to do this a bit different from the other poppers I've made because I'm going to do this on a tube. So first of all I'm going to take one of these future fly tubes. This is the uh, the 4.6 millimeters. Um, it's, a, it's a nice size because you can easily get your leader through this uh, this tube here. So what I just did was, was just to make it uh, not so sharp in the end. I took my lighter here and just uh, made a small uh, I don't know what that's called, a small bump back here, so just kind of like make the material shrimp back um, and that's nice and done. And then I'm gonna attach it in my in my Oima tube fly uh, system. Uh, the Oima, Oima tube, tube fly needle is, uh, is as, as far as I'm concerned, the best tube fly needle ever made. Well, uh, when that being done, I'm gonna take one of these uh, uh, popper heads. This is gonna be a white popper head. This is gonna be a, a, a bleeding roach popper, <laughs> kind of like. And uh, because uh, this is gonna be fairly difficult to get over the tube, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna jam it very, very violently in the in here, just to expand the hole in the the popper head, as you can see here. Just twisting and turning and stuff like that to make sure it's gonna be a lot wider, so I can fit it over the uh, over the uh, over the tube here. Like that. As you can see, it takes a little bit of damage, but that's that's uh, that's okay. It's it's only in the in the in the in the the bottom part of this, and uh, and that's okay because. Um, we can actually just cut that off, like so, because it's in the part of the popper where there's not too much foam, so it's not gonna be uh, that much of much of an issue for uh, for the rest of the fly and for the floatability of this uh, this popper. I'm gonna attach this on here, and then I'm gonna, as you can see, now I have my popper head uh, on here, and then I can start tying the rest of the fly. So, I'm going to take my thread here, and I'm simply just going to tie the popper. Uh, and uh, and the, the good thing about this is, uh, as soon as I'm done with actually tying the, the fly, I'm going to start a bit further up to ensure that, uh, that uh, I have a, a, a bit more distance from the hook to the rest of the fly. I'm going to start here instead. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some bucktail, just some white bucktail, um, because this will uh, be an, a nice addition and uh, help uh, keep the rest of the materials spread out uh, and uh, and uh, and give some bulk to this fly. I'm not going to take a large bundle, just a, just a, just a, a smaller bundle, something in the magnitude of this. Take this here. I'm going to tie this down so it's facing forward, like that. Trying to distribute it as evenly as I can all the way around here, or the way around the, the tube here, like so. And then I'm just going to turn everything around facing the other way, like that. I'm going to tie up to the bucktail, but not on top of the bucktail. Uh, this is basically a lot like uh, many of the other other flies I've I've tied using uh, using tubes. I can see my screw here is come a bit loose in my vise. Just going to tighten that like so. Okay. Next off, I'm going to take a, a bundle of big fly fiber. This is the uh, the, the 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 bleeding grey, a nice nice color. I uh, helped Hedron uh, develop. Um, it has mixed some red flash in it already, so it's it's kind of like uh, it's it's actually the perfect color for 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 roach imitations and stuff like that. And uh, the the red flash gives a nice uh, adds a nice a nice contrast. Again, trying to distribute this. So it's gonna be around the hook here, like so. Cut off all the leftover stuff, and the thread apparently. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not something I would advise you to do at home. Do not cut the thread. I repeat, do not cut the thread. It's not uh, actually part of uh, part of this fly. <laughs> Well, so it is. This uh, this fly is actually a pattern I used a lot last year, uh, um, and uh, and had some very very nice pikes on uh, on this. I didn't use it on a hook uh, on a t on a tube back then, but uh, but I've I've turned more and more to uh, to switching my uh, my pike flies to to tubes, and uh, and this will definitely be a, be a nice fly on on the tube. Um, so uh, so uh, so you can convert almost any fly that you like into the tubes, and the tubes gives you a lot of uh, a lot of different options uh, regarding hooks and hook sets and stuff like that. So uh, so definitely uh, definitely the tubes are are nice uh, are nice to uh, to use for all types of uh, of pike flies, and I come to 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 use tubes more and more often. I just took some uh, some red lateral scales just to add a bit more bleeding effect to this. Uh, the the red contrast is really nice. Like that holding everything backwards. And if you have uh, used some of these uh, these small clamps from uh, from I think it's hairdressers stuff. Uh, and as you can see, if you just add one of these there, you will get a lot more uh, you will get a lot more uh, free space to uh, to move about. Then I'm gonna take some some flash, and this is uh, the holographic silver uh, Predator pack. So it's the thin flash, but in 52 centimeters length. <laughs> it's just a, a, a truly truly uh, cool product. Uh, I'm so glad I convinced Hedron to uh, to uh, to produce uh, produce the their regular regular flash in uh, in this in this longer longer uh, version. And as you can see, there is just an enormous amount of flash in 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 a package. An enormous amount. That's also why it is a bit expensive, unfortunately. But uh, well, uh, the package size is is well worth it. I'm just gonna just gonna double this. Um, uh, it's very nice to have uh, have the option of actually using this flash in full length, oh, not full length, but something <laughs> approaching full length. But if you don't want to do that, then still the the predator flash is is the way to go because you can you can simply just double it as I did here and you just take half the amount so uh, so uh, I would recommend that you if you if you want this flash just get the predator packs you can always just uh, just make it shorter but it's it's very difficult to make flash like this longer if you don't have the option so so the predator the predator packages are very very nice um, very nice indeed like this added the silver flash I'm gonna turn this over here. All the stumps we're gonna use as well, of course. They're not stumps actually, but well, it's gonna look a lot like a flesh hackle, like that. I'm just gonna take out the headdresses on uh, the headdresses clamp there and apply it once again to make sure everything is or less nicely fitted. Then I'm gonna add some, uh, as you can see I have here a bundle of all sorts of hackles. This is hackles I've, I've taken off old flies or, or just you know hackles I've, I've uh, saddle feathers I've, I've taken uh, too much uh, from time to time. I use a small, uh, I don't know what this, Danish it's called a strip, you know kind of like uh, you know the, the one you can use to, <laughs> to uh, if you have naughty kids you can you can just thumb them together and they won't go anywhere. Oh, just kidding, that's not something I, <laughs> I practice. I don't think I would last long as a school teacher if if that was something. I, but but they're very good at to to hold stuff like this together. And this way you can you can control if you have any leftover hackles you you accidentally pulled off your your saddle or something like that. So I'm gonna take um, gonna take some of the grizzly ones here. Uh, just uh, just the 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 natural colored grizzly is is good for this uh, this pattern. Again, it adds contrast and it has uh, it has adds vitality. Um, Gonna tie these down so they uh, they are facing uh, backwards, of course, but also so that the the, the shiny side of the, of the feathers is pointing back uh, downwards, and this will mean that the the hackles will stand out more on the fly and uh, and uh, uh, be more uh, more vivid, more vital, more free moving in the water. But 
but a really nice patch and I really really look forward to uh, to uh, to uh, dumping this back down <laughs> on top of the the big Danish uh, Danish pikes here when uh, when the season opens again in well a couple of days that's gonna be awesome awesome I really really am looking forward to that as always I just enjoy 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 pike fishing especially with the poppers it's just spectacular and well heaps and heaps of fun gonna cut off all the leftover stuff here like that and then we're gonna make a small hackle of marabou well, it's a bit it's a bit a bit of an understatement to say a small hackle of marabou because as soon as you you're using marabou as hackles they will will potentially be quite big so I'm gonna take a nice marabou feather here in red to add additional bleeding effect this is gonna be a very very bleeding roach <laughs> Tie this down just in, in the tip of the feather. I'm just gonna turn this over, there's no need to cut that off uh, when you're done. And then I'm gonna turn my hackle here. And I'm gonna turn my hackle a bit forward so it's gonna be uh, so it's gonna be uh, out in front here of the fly as well. Like so. Gonna tie it down. Fasten it securely here, as securely as I can at least. Gonna cut off the marabou feather. Gotta make sure everything is tied down properly. Like so. Then I'm gonna do a whip finish. I could, of course, use my. It would have been easier to use my clam to hold the marabou heckle and stuff like that back, also. But just did it with uh, my mitts. And then, of course, I want to apply some varnish to this before I. I take the popper head and then move it backwards. So I'm just gonna apply a bit of varnish here to make sure it stays in place. I'm gonna push the popper head down. And there you have it. And uh, I think that uh, most times for the poppers you don't need the tail to be as long. So I'm just going to take the tail here and, and I'm going to trim it a bit down in my waste basket here. So this is not going to be as long as, uh, as some of the other uh, pike flies. Um, well, so far so good. Now what you want to do is you want to stick some eyes on there. <laughs> for some reason I can never seem to locate my eyes. I haven't put them out for this. Okay, we're going to do the other trick first. I'm going to take a add some uh, I'm going to add some legs to this. And again, we need to use the lighter for this. I'm going to heat up my dubbing needle. Like so. Going to jam it through the head to make a a hole. Then I'm going to take my threader. Jam that through the hole I just made. Like so, I hope you can see there's the threader coming in and out. Then I'm gonna take a few uh, rubber legs uh, in the white, if you have any barred white or red, so... Just basically whatever you, you wanna use, you can uh, you can do that. I think the white here is, is gonna be a nice addition. Just need to separate these from one another. Like so, I'm gonna put them in uh, the put them in the threader and pull all of this through my head. I know how that sounds. 
if you want you can just apply a small drop of super glue uh, to one of the sides going to cut these off so they are not uh, completely uniform in length and then you have uh, the nice the nice head start on the other side where oh where did that stupid eyes go oh here they were um uh, and what we want to do now is, is we want to attach an eye. I, I can't find my super glue. I'm sorry for that. So, so basically, just add a small drop of super glue and your eyes, and then you are, you are golden. Then you are ready to go out and make some uh, noise with the, with this bleeding roach popper and made on the tube. Of course, you need to add a small drop of super glue up here as well, and, and uh, of course, cut the the tube off. But basically, this is uh, this is it. Well, thank you for tuning in.